Hey, good morning, meteorologist Scott Pillier here with your Tropics Outlook and discussion for June 18th, 2021. Heavy rainfall threat on the way for the northern Gulf Coast as potential tropical cyclone number three moves towards the northern Gulf Coast. Hurricane hunters are out investigating this system as I put this whole video together. So quite possible that we see this get upgraded to a tropical depression or tropical storm Claudette by the time this video is up and posted in just a couple of hours from now. Regardless of the classification though, main threat with this system for the northern Gulf Coast, basically from southeast Louisiana towards coastal parts of the Florida, Alabama, and Mississippi coastline, and even inland, as this continues to make its way northward, heavy rainfall, gusty winds, and some coastal flooding, and increased rip current risk as well. But the main concern is going to be for the rainfall, especially on that eastern side of the system into parts of Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, and even into coastal southeast Louisiana. We'll break that all down here in a moment, but if you have any questions or comments, make sure to throw me a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave your comments in the video below. So let's make my camera lens a little bit uh, smaller here and we'll talk about what we have going on. Visible satellite animation this morning, quite telling that the system is slowly getting its act together. Now, not in any quick fashion, and truth be told, this is still kind of right on that cusp between a very strong tropical wave and an official classified tropical depression or tropical storm. What we have is somewhat of a very sharp uh, trough axis and we do now have some westerly winds that are showing up on the southern part of this system and certainly a whole lot of rain that is developing on the eastern side but still you can kind of see the gen uh, general flow here of this trough axis where there definitely is some turning but it's not very strong on the south and west side so although we have a wind shift uh, occurring which is necessary to close off that circulation it still is very heavily lopsided on the eastern side, which is what we've been expecting for the past couple of days. Much of the rough weather is located on the eastern side of the system, and that's going to be pulling due to the north towards the coastline. Latest track from overnight. There have been some changes with this, and I'm going to show you that track here in just a moment. But kind of just remember this, and I'll put a new little uh, blue outline here for you. The low centered right about here and again, likely going to take a path towards Terrebonne Parish and eventually kind of take a track into South Mississippi and Alabama. But that's going to place much of the rough weather east of where the center actually comes on shore. So it's this area basically from coastal South Mississippi throughout coastal Alabama into southeast Louisiana where we're going to have the greatest potential for locally heavy rain as all that rain and moisture moves its way in from the south. So take it for what you will wind shear is still in place enough that we're likely not going to see this ramp up in any quick fashion but again i could see this becoming a tropical storm of 45 to 50 miles per hour before a landfall late tonight and into early saturday hurricane hunters are out in the system right now as i put this video together and just kind of doubling down on what i just mentioned there is now see these wind barbs there are now some westerly winds showing up uh, on the south and west side of this system and you can see this buoy uh, or ship that we've got here uh, more than likely a buoy uh, out there or a platform and you can generally see that there is a spin a low level spin in the atmosphere based on our low level hurricane hunter reconnaissance mission so yes we do have a low that is developed more than likely we'll see this get upgraded to a depression or tropical storm. Latest outlook from the National Hurricane Center, if I can find it in all of these tabs that I've got up here. There it is. This is the latest track from the National Hurricane Center, bringing this right towards Terrebonne Parish as a 45 mile per hour tropical storm with a landfall tonight at about 1 a.m. So shortly after midnight, early on Saturday morning. But again, remember where most of the impacts with a lopsided, heavily eastern weighted system are going to be along that track and well east of it all throughout this region and you know truthfully for where i'm located in new orleans this is a close call the heaviest rain could end up setting up just south and east of us over parts of the gulf and into coastal mississippi and alabama it's a close call but we're going to talk about that 
here in just a moment. You can see from our wind shear map, a little pocket of lower shear has developed over the system. It's still battling about 30 knots of uh, southwesterly wind shear on the northern side of the system. That's why it's weighted heavily on the eastern side rather than the western side because that southwesterly wind shear is kind of driving in and helping to shunt most of the rough weather north and east of the center. Speaking of, here's a look at the radar picture right now. You can see we've got a pretty decent rain shield developing south of coastal Plaquemines Parish and some tropical showers moving through areas of southeast Louisiana. As this rain shield starts to move northward, what we're going to have to watch for is how far to the west this rain shield develops. Does it increase over southeast Louisiana or do we see a new blob of convection and storms develop a little bit further east? Models are kind of torn about that and that's kind of the now casting or real-time analysis that we're going to be doing throughout the day today is watching where the heaviest rain sets up into the overnight tonight. Vorticity map, you can see it's a little bit more concentric now south of Louisiana's coastline. You can see that brighter shading of red. So I think we're right on the cusp of seeing this become a depression or actual tropical storm. Let's talk about time frame. Great website as always. This is the Tropical Tidbits from Levi Cohen. Really great website as always, free to the public and just a fantastic tool for both trained meteorologists and amateur meteorologists as well. So this is the latest outlook. This just came out. This is the 12Z and you know what? I'm gonna move my camera a little bit further over here so you can see uh, the model data that I'm trying to show you here on the right hand corner of the screen. So this is the 12Z model run. Uh, that we have latest outlook from the 12z model run shows this tropical disturbance which is still what it is making a landfall over parts of coastal southeast louisiana at right at about 6 p.m but i want to back this up through the day today let's start at real time and again i'll mark this in pink for you and we'll zoom in a little bit more to give you a better kind of analysis of this so let's go zoom in and i'll move this down and now you can get a better view uh, of the model. And you know, it's still not perfect. Not perfect. Let's go pull up a different site. Let's go to Pivotal Weather and we'll go pull this up on Pivotal uh, for a slightly more zoomed in look and a clearer image for Southeast Louisiana. So we'll go to this and we'll go to South Central and I'll pull up the 12Z model run. All right, here we go. A little bit more easy to see uh, in terms of the view panels here. So pulling this back up, you can see what we have. Again, landfall tonight shortly after 6 p.m. But before we get there, notice this low and a nice rain band tries to set up into parts of coastal southeast Louisiana. Depending on exactly how organized this system is when it comes towards land, there could be a little bit more wraparound moisture uh, on this northern side. Uh, again, the eastern side is what we're going to be watching for over here for where this rain band sets up as it lifts north. So again, if it's a little bit more organized, and I'll advance through this, the HER makes this landfall right through Terrebonne Parish and the center kind of goes right over Lake Pontchartrain. But do you see where most of the rough weather is in these rain bands east of the center? Kind of a little bit difficult to make out here, but here's Louisiana. I'll outline it in pink. Here's Louisiana, and again, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida Panhandle through uh, the coastline. Heavy rain does move through New Orleans late this evening into the early overnight, but look where this really stout rain band sets up. The low over parts of coastal southeast Louisiana and that really heavy rain band kind of funneling into coastal Mississippi and Alabama. That's where the heaviest rain threat looks to set up, and you can see our total accumulated rainfall amounts from the HER forecast model as I pull this up for you. And it's pretty telling, right? In New Orleans, certainly one to three plus inches of rain is possible with some localized hotspots of more than that. But that bullseye, really close. It's a really tricky forecast. It shows the heaviest rain just east of New Orleans towards Bay St. Louis, Biloxi, Waveland, Pascagoula, and Mobile. Someone in that region that I just circled in pink likely to pick up anywhere from 6 to 10 inches of rain in this area. 
But again, New Orleans kind of right on that dividing line where it's way drier out west uh, of where the system comes on shore. So it's just going to be something that we continue to watch. There is a marginal threat for one or two spin-up tornadoes with this system across the coastline, as well as the potential uh, for two to three feet of storm surge and coastal flooding for areas basically from Grand Isle through Buras towards Lake Bourne and the Alabama and Mississippi coast of at least one to three feet of storm surge as well. So a lot of watching, rainfall amounts likely going to start to pick up as we head throughout the day today, so make sure to continue to keep it tuned. I'll have forecast updates on my YouTube channel as well as on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, meteorologist Scott Pelier. Don't forget to leave a comment, a like, and as well as subscribing to my YouTube channel. Have a great dry rest of your day and a happy Friday to all of y'all. Talk to you later.